Welcome to Knockbro Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh. And ladies and gentlemen, we have some Fear of the Walking Dead Season 6B news. Oh my god, it is 2021. We have news. If you haven't heard already, Fear the Walking Dead is returning April. And 11th. it is back better than ever, guys. Oh. That that 6A season was awesome. <sighs> Cannot One, wait. Honestly, I think it was the best. The best for the entire series? You're you're putting it up against the first season. There you go. Right? Yeah. I mean, because yeah. there's nothing better than the first season, right? Pretty in my much. opinion. Yeah. 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 It, it, this season has been so good, and I'm so glad that, you know, they, they took a complete 360 from what they did in season four and the majority of season five. Yeah, but I, this season I been think amazing. everyone on that production team, the writing crew, everyone yeah. should be proud of themselves for what they did in season six. I think I for truly sure. was put together very well yeah definitely guys so we have the synopsis for the second half of season six and it reads as morgan's bid to free the remaining members of the group becomes bolder virginia grows increasingly desperate to find her sister and protect the settlements from forces working inside and outside her walls the second half of season six reveals the impact of what living under virginia's control has done to each person in this group who once saw themselves as a family New alliances will be formed, relationships will be destroyed, and loyalties forever changed. When everyone is forced to take sides, they discover the meaning of the end is the beginning. Now, they did show a shot in the 6B next episode's trailer that we did a reaction and breakdown for. There is kind of another lineup happening, and that is with Strand lining up all the rest of our group, including Grace, do, from what Ginny wants, because she wants, because she's so pissed off, she wants to round everyone else up that she can. The the, and, the rest yeah. that are in Lawton. The rest that the, are in Lawton. That have not escaped yet. Exactly. Okay. So yeah. she's going to try to use them to get to Morgan and the rest of the group who's at, who's escaped. And so. you got to kind of wonder, is she going to order Strand to kill one of them? See, we Strand still has a plan, but in, in and I haven't liked him much this season because... I've liked him, but haven't liked him. But I know I have that not liked. Him. I know that he's doing something. But it it she he's playing on her side. She asked him, "Whose side are you on?" And he boldly said, "Yours." <laughs> but it's like in I, front of her, in, in in front of her face. Like I yeah, want but... to know what he's trying to do from the inside because he told Alicia this when they when they were getting led away. He had a plan, and they were gonna. He said, "We can do more damage from the inside." Yeah. So it's like, what does he still have planned to do? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm worried still, but I have no idea. Yeah, I, 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 I got to be honest. I'm worried about Strand. I am too. Uh, I, because we've seen him a couple times. You know, he he does look out for himself. He, you know, he doesn't put him. He he puts himself over the group a lot more than any than he ever has. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of worried about that. So. I mean, look, we've said, so, I think we've said uh, quite a few times during this series, mm -hmm. I'm worried about Strand. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think we have. We because he have. always puts himself in this position of, uh, you know, grave concern. Like, it's insane. But, yeah, uh, yeah guys, uh, what else we got? New casting alert. We have new casting alert, guys. So, three new members are going to be joining the cast. Now, one, we've actually already confirmed. That's John Glover. He, uh, we did a video on him. We are possibly assuming he could be the leader of the end of the end is the beginning group. Uh, we're not really for sure, but that was kind of a theory that we had. So check that video out. We'll put it in the description. Then there's Keith Carradine, whose mm -hmm. popular roles are Nashville, Cowboys vs. Aliens, and Deadwood. Yep, I, uh, I, I recognize I, him when I saw him. So I'm sure if I saw him, I haven't seen his picture. I don't. Yeah. know. you you forgot to show me that one. But yeah, I'll show uh, it. did you ever see Deadwood? I haven't. No. I saw the big it, look it's it's good. Yeah. I, I've saw I've seen like a season of it. I, I do want to get back to it because the movie ties in with it. And, yeah. yeah. Cool. And the third guys, this is a big one. Nick Stahl. Uh, a lot of you guys may only know him from being in Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines playing John Connor. Yes. Uh, he's also been in Disturbing Behavior. That was like a 90s movie. He's been in Sin City, but he's a great actor. I cannot wait to see what role he's going to be put into. Yeah, it's really interesting going to be yeah. seeing him on the screen. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, uh, do you think he was good in Terminator 3? I thought he was good. Ter was Terminator 3 overall was, was okay. It was okay. Yeah. yeah. I, look, I... Claire Danes and... <laughs> Claire Danes and him. I mean, I liked at the end of the movie where 
you know. I uh, like the way they did the end. The end was cool where, like, somebody's like, who's in charge there? And he's like, he finally, he never wanted to be in charge because he knew his future. Mm -hmm. He finally said, I am. And it's like, yeah. I just, I love, the aspect I loved of that movie was, and sorry guys, we're <laughs> just adding this Terminator, to the video. Yeah. But the, what I loved about that movie is, like, the whole point of that was, look, we're never going to stop this event. Mm -hmm. Like, it's going to happen. Going to happen. But yep. the key is, let's get you into you safety because you're the you're the key. Yeah, exactly. Then they had to have another Terminator where they essentially killed John Collar yeah. and F that series apart. That was the one with um, the lovely Amelia Clark. That one sucked. That one was bad. Yeah, dude, that one was bad. <laughs> that one was bad. But even the new one. I haven't seen the new one, yeah. I haven't either. But all I had to hear, guys, was they killed John Connor off. Well, well spoiler alert. Yeah. Sorry. No. <laughs> No, but uh, it's pretty cool because in the Walking Dead universe, we now have two individuals who were from Terminator. We have Robert Patrick in The Walking Dead, who was in Terminator 2, and now we have Nick Stahl from Terminator 3. So, yep. can't wait to find out if these characters, if all three are going to be villains, if they're going to be part of our group, if they're just going to be um, just joining for the second half and that's it. Uh, we do know Season 7 is on for, for Fear the Walking Dead, so who knows, but... Uh, we're excited for fear. Yeah, we absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, look, I, we got another season coming. We know we're good for another couple of years, guys. Yeah. That's awesome. And the showrunners have said they don't have any, there isn't any end in sight for fear right now. They're not, you know, a lot of people were wondering, are they going to plan on ending it when The Walking Dead ends? Showrunners, Scott Gimple, nope. Now, Not really. that could change. It could change. In, like, in a second. It could because change. Because we all thought that about The Walking Dead, and then, boom, one day it's done. Well, here's the thing. If they do end it with Walking Dead, and they want to kind of do a cool Marvel merge thing, they're going to have to jump Fear the Walking Dead six plus years. They could do, do that. It. They could. That'd be they insane. could do that. They could, they could do that for season seven. That's a good question. Yeah. Will there be a time skip from six to seven? Yeah. Absolutely. For sure. I think there will be. Yeah. But what we've loved about Fear, and we've said it before, we love how it's separate. Yes, it's mm -hmm. kind of part of the universe. We have Dwight and Morgan now, but they're six years behind. But I do like the fact that they are separate. You know, they're in different parts of the country. I think Walking Dead needs to stay the Walking Dead because that's part of the graphic novel. Fear the Walking Dead is not. I think it should stay its own. That's just my opinion. But yeah. yeah. So uh, when they do release a 6B full trailer, guess what? Stay tuned. Hit that notification bell if you haven't subscribed because we will be doing a reaction and breakdown when that gets released. Absolutely. So uh, make sure you give the video a click like to show your support. We truly appreciate it. Stay tuned for more. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're not for Nation. We're out.